Farfa leaves the free Yu-Gi-Oh! product Konami partnership. It's like making a baby that you don't want. It's it's a terrible partnership that you should not be a part of. And thank God that your boy ain't part of it. Let's dive on into this, shall we? I'm in a special mood today. So, uh, yeah, we feeling spicy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most Avery LR32 here and destroy the ever-living partnership boo-boo stain off of that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher, the 1500 ladder. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I didn't know if I really wanted to make a video about this, but I saw Capital G make a video about it, and I'm like, you know what, screw it, I'm going to make a video about it. Um, so Farfa's no longer partnered with Konami, which is like, yay, whatever, um, Here's the thing, though. I want to get into the meat and potatoes of why, as a Yugi tuber and even as a viewer, you should be staying far away from these Konami partnerships. So, first and foremost, the format is garbage. Um, the game right now is just not doing very well. Um, it's very expensive to play because you need Fualos, uh, which is like $126 when I checked this morning. Um the Fiendsmith engine's a thing. Snake Eye's still a thing. U-Bell needs to be hit. The Fiendsmith cards need to be taken out back and shot. Uh, there's a lot of things wrong with the game right now. And basically all that Farfa said was that there's just creative differences, which I guess could mean anything. I don't know Farfa. I don't watch his content. I don't really care to watch his content. The thing is, for me, as a viewer, I don't like watching Yugi tubers who are partnered with Konami and getting free product because I very much am under the, I don't know if you'd call it assumption or fact, I don't really know what you would call it, minus MST TV because MST TV does put out very good like combo videos and in-depth stuff. He seems like he's pretty trustworthy. I, I don't think that there's nothing shady going on behind the scenes. Doesn't mean that there isn't. It just seems like he's trustworthy enough that we don't have to really be concerned about that but anytime that you see these yugi tubers that are partnered with konami like this video is sponsored by konami blah 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 getting that free product even though people say that they're not getting paid they are could you imagine when rage of the abyss came out and we got all these people opening up the set early and some yugi tuber let's just use farfa as an example just because he's the topic of this video Let's say Farfa pulled even just one Fualos when on pre-sale it was, I think, $200. So you mean to tell me Konami's not paying you, technically, and you're going to make a video about this product, show off that you pulled Fualos, talk about how broken Fualos is so that more people want to go out and buy it. Meanwhile, you're charging 200 bucks, or you're going to go to your local Yu-Gi-Oh! community in your area and sell it for the cheap for like 120 150 bucks. And then you're making profit. On top of that, you're also making profit from being a Yugi tuber that is millions of times bigger than me because I've tried everything to make this channel grow and it's just gonna be a slow fucking burn. Like, I've tried everything under the sun at this point. And so uh, the market's also extremely saturated, which is something else to keep in mind. So that's as a viewer, right? But then as a Yugi tuber running a business, in my case, running a side hustle, I don't want to be uh, caught in a venomous web of BS with Konami because if Konami screws up, if Konami puts something out that's idiotic, you know what that does if you're in a partnership with them? Makes you look like an ass. Makes you look like a big old sexy donkey that just updated their profile picture on Tinder and Facebook and Bumble and Facebook dating and plenty of fish. <laughs> so nobody wants to be caught in the crossfire of that dumpster fire. So uh, why even waste your time with it? On top of that, it also restricts you on what content you made, even if the video is not sponsored by Konami. Do you think I could put on this wrestler's persona, WWE style, blame truth type of video making persona and talk about how garbage the game is and how whenever I do my tier list, if you're playing such and such a deck, you're in the booty booty butt cheek table 500 category. Uh, no, get out of here, scrub. Uh, like, no, Konami, <laughs> Konami is not going to partner with someone like me. And thank God that they don't because I don't want to be associated with all that crap. I I've talked about this in the past couple of videos, but I really haven't been touching the game because of 
the format just not being fun. Like, you have to play basically Snake Eyes, Ubel, or Tempai pre-crossover breakers, or you're just losing. Like, yeah, we've seen different things top and win regionals and stuff. Like, an Exodia deck did win a regional. I watched the guy's deck profile, and he just cheated all day because he said that the Golem, the Golem that guards the Millennium Treasure, whatever, he said while it's in the back row, the Millennium on can't be negated. That's not how that card works at all. So the dude just cheated all day. That's why he won. Um, most likely. So why even waste your time being part of a company? And yes, I do say being part of a company when people are going to instantly assume that you're lying to your audience about many things. MST TV is the only one that has ever confirmed to me, hey, even though I'm partnered with Konami, we don't know what goes on with the ban list. Now, could he have been bullshitting? Absolutely. He could have been lying just straight through his teeth. But that's the uh, dirty laundry. I can't think of a better word, but the dirty laundry that follows you, that if you partner with this company, that's the kind of things you're going to have to deal with. If you ever, like, you know, have some sort of drama or controversy, people are going to say, well, he is partnered by Konami, or, well, she is partnered with Konami. She's part of the partner program. You know, he does this kind of thing all the time, I'm sure. He's getting free products. She's making free money. Like, it's such bad juju that it's not something that you want to be a part of. And unless you are a really big Yugi tuber like Team Sam, Farfa, DZ, whoever, there's really no money to be made in this business. Like, do, do you think me at over 1,500 subscribers is going to be making money or even be on Konami's radar? No. And even if I was on their radar, they would either ban me from competitive play, which I like to think that they wouldn't do um, just for criticizing the game and just wanting to look at it from a subjective point of view, or rather objective point of view, and make it better. Um... And even want to do interviews with Konami personnel, which of course they'll never do. But to criticize them and to still be part of the partner program is, is just not going to happen. And I think that for anyone who wants to be a Yugi tuber, there are niches that you can make. You know, you don't have to necessarily strive to be a part of the Konami uh, banjo team of commentators and stuff. As cool as it would be to commentate a YCS. Would you really want to be there in an event all day that you're not playing in and watching the same Fiendsmith combo over and over again? Watching the same Snake Eyes baby back bullshit over and over again? No, Sugar Boo Bear. Absolutely not. I'd rather, as I said in the previous video, I'd rather go dump money into Filling and Spansley and be looking at a VTuber girl. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm, I'm probably going to get demonetized, but whatever. <laughs> um, so, if you want to be a YouTuber, you need to be genuine. You need to not be partnering with Konami. You need to not be partnering with any shady companies, because it's not worth it. For a channel like mine, it's a slow burn. I get maybe 100 subscribers a year, if that. For other people, they explode like crazy, and it helps when you're good at the game. But if you're good at the game, you're probably going to be more blunt about situations in the game than someone who's partnered with Konami getting free crap. Like, the only reason people like Robbie Cole have an audience is because he did this for over a decade consistently and got views over time, did deck profiles with players, uh, vlogged at events, things like that. Now he gets like two to 7,000 views a video. Like, it's very inconsistent. And so he's not part of the partner program because he just does all this other content and he's just kind of more casual about the game now instead of being competitive. But even when he was competitive, he was very blunt about it. Like, no, don't play this card. It's garbage. Whereas if you notice with a lot of these people who are in the partner program, they're like, oh yeah, this card's pretty cool. Bro, you're talking about Izet of the White Forest and White Forest is bad right now. What are you talking about? So you, you got to watch people who are genuine. Like watch your boy. Watch me. We genuine. We ain't got no partnerships. And what's nice, too, is that some of the pro players don't really have partnerships like that, like uh, Jesse Cotton, Joshua Schmidt, and Pack. But the problem is people like that can't be trusted for their own reasons because the pro players have already figured out how to win the next million YCSs, I'm sure. Like, they've got all the spicy text. They're not giving that stuff out. Like, they lie to their audience all the time. But that's another topic for another video, which I think I've already talked about in the past. But guys, let me know what you think about Farfa leaving this uh, partnership program. I think it spells a lot for the future of the game. 
and you know konami wanting to partner up with players and the type of content that they can make in general whether it's a sponsored video or not and at the end of the day what we would need if you wanted to grow an audience on youtube for Yu-Gi-Oh, just go and interview konami reps go and interview product managers like that would be a great way to build a channel i've wanted to interview people who've been sponsored by konami in the past but of course none of them will because my channel's small compared to all these other big names but what can you do that that's what happens when you get sponsored by konami you get a special treatment you get on their twitter and stuff and then that's how you make your business right there so sometimes you gotta lie to make money and that's not worth it guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video